In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 15 things that I feel like you need to understand before it's too late. Some of these things are majorly from my own experiences, the books that I've read, or the experiences of people around me. So the first thing is you need to have strong opinions about your values. I feel like this one is one that people actually overlook. If you think about this, when a topic is being talked about, sometimes you might not really have an opinion or you just feel like you don't have an opinion, which is fine, honestly, you must not have an opinion on everything. But if you have really strong values, you need to have strong opinions about your values. If not, you're going to be easily swayed by anybody. Anyone can easily convince you or give you reasons why you shouldn't believe in whatever it is that you believe in. But if you have strong opinions backing up the values that you have, you can't be easily swayed. And I learned this when I finished secondary school and I moved to a different country with different cultures and or just a different scenery all around. I was sharing so many things that were contradictory to what I learned growing up and it wasn't as if what I was being taught as a child or the values being impacted in me as a child was wrong. It was just that the values in this new environment were not in line with what I used to have. Also with social media, you open your phone every time and you see people say the most ridiculous things like things that are very contrary to whatever it is that you believe in so if you don't have strong opinions about your values that are always going to propel you to hold those values tight you're going to find yourself being easily swayed by anybody next is don't blame anyone for your situation don't ever feel like someone is the reason why your life is miserable if you feel like you hate your job it's because you chose to be at that job if you feel like you don't like your financial situation it's because you decided to be in that financial situation you can always put in more effort to change your situation and blaming someone else for your situation is not going to make it any better it's only going to make you feel worse only going to make you feel powerless and who wants to do that who wants to feel like they're powerless imagine if you told someone the reason why i'm not successful or the reason why life is miserable is because my parents did not say for me to go get an education Yes, your parents are not safe for you to get an education, but does that mean you shouldn't do other things? If you give your parents the power to determine if your future is going to be bright or not, simply because they didn't save, you're basically making yourself feel lesser than, you're reducing your own power because then you feel powerless. You have given, you're basically giving someone else the power, which is not, which is not true. You're responsible for everything that's happening in your life and you have to always understand that your job should make you feel valuable if, if you don't feel like you're providing value to people you're not going to enjoy your job no matter what that job is if you feel like you are easily replaceable you're not bringing any impact with your job then your overall confidence is going to be in shambles you're not going to feel confident in yourself your self-worth is going to be in the tra in the tank if you are currently at a job where you feel like you're not impacting the world positively maybe this is your sign to get another job get a hobby that gives you that sense of purpose because you should feel like you have value and having a sense of value from your job is one of the major ways to increase your confidence improve your life as well and make you feel like your life is worth living be kind to people treat people the way you would like to be treated you don't know what people are going through you don't know what circumstances people are facing some people haven't eaten that day you don't know if every other aspect of their life is going down the drain you really don't know what people are going through so always be kind to people don't be harsh to people smile be positive just be nicer to people treat people the way you would like to be treated when you're mistreating people always remember that it could easily be you and never say never because if you say it can never be you i bet you it will be you it can always be you i've said it can never be me multiple times and it turned out it was actually me not too long after that so always be kind to people don't be harsh be positive have a positive vibe around you your dreams are worth it your dreams are worth chasing don't let anyone make you feel like you are chasing the clouds or you're wasting your time uh, focusing on this dream that you have your dreams are worth it imagine if the person that came up with the idea of flying planes thought about it how will human beings fly and then someone else told him something and he was like mm, that's true it's not even possible and then he gave up on that dream imagine if steve jobs did not chase after his dream of creating an iphone i really cannot imagine i know someone else would have done it for sure but just always know that your dreams are worth chasing and put in the effort to always chase your dreams don't ever give up on your dreams always put in the effort show up for yourself because no one else is going to show up for you 
never settle for mediocrity never be lazy towards yourself don't procrastinate do the things talking about chasing your dreams discipline is key to success you are probably tired of hearing this if you're not disciplined you're going to find it very difficult to achieve any form of goal be it academically financially business wise you are going to struggle tell yourself i should do this every day and find yourself doing it don't give yourself any excuses excuses are not tolerated connection is essential i like to say this thing that people are a gift whenever i'm praying i always pray that god gives me the gifts of people and i'm actually very lucky to have the people around me i have like the best set of friends i have the best family ever i just feel like i'm surrounded by positive people and i feel like it makes me appreciate the gifts that people are so don't be out there burning bridges all the time always value the people around you maintain relationships if someone does something to you don't just throw them aside hold them nurture that relationship so that your friendships can last longer don't be so willing to throw people away always value people and see how presence is a gift because having people that will show up for you is one thing that a lot of people lack and if you have it please don't take it for granted time is precious i remember as a child everyone was always saying oh time is precious time is precious but it really is precious time is the only resource that is finite it cannot be replaced it cannot be reproduced people actually take their time for granted because we just feel like oh, it's free it's like air that is free but no you can die tomorrow you could die next week you don't know when you're going to die so every time that you have is valuable if you are not making it to good use you're wasting your time so spend time in places that actually matter if you want to sacrifice your time for something make sure that that thing you're sacrificing your time for is actually valuable for instance because you want to save five dollars on gas you decided to travel for one hour to go to the cheapest gas station at that point you're wasting your time because is your one hour really worth five dollars if not my dear just get the gas in the city and move on use your one hour to do something else that is more important cherish moments with your children cherish moments with your family your spouse your siblings your friends those relationships can only be nurtured big time always make sure that you are spending your time wisely gratitude can transform your life if you practice gratitude regularly you will notice that the way you look at life is going to drastically change always practice gratitude every day take out time your day to always practice gratitude have a gratitude ritual be it through prayer be it through journaling and for me i i already shared this before i practice gratitude with my journal another easy way i practice gratitude is just by talking like i've had a long day and i come and i lay in bed my warm cozy bed oh my god i'm so grateful for my house i'm grateful for my bed i'm grateful for my blankets i'm grateful for heat i'm grateful for food because by being grateful for the little things that you have around you you realize that your life doesn't actually suck as much as you think it actually is a sweet life it's a loving life a joy-filled life not like what you think self-care is not selfish taking care of yourself is not you being selfish always prioritize your mental emotional and physical health if it means going to spa even if it means just sitting down quietly always make sure that you're taking care of yourself especially for women women are nurturers we've already been wired to think about taking care of other people and sometimes we tend to neglect ourselves or we just feel like we need to give out all the time but that's not true you can't give from an empty cup if you are not well taken care of you're not going to be able to nurture other people for me one way i like to practice self-care is sitting down in peace and quiet do not talk to me do not say anything if you have something to say make it very brief I don't want to have too much of a long conversation with anyone especially if i'm just coming back from work i like to have my own time you have to be selfish sometimes i'm not saying you shouldn't take care of others but make sure you're taking care of yourself too failure is not final in fact you only fail when you give up that is something that i had to learn i've been struggling i won't say struggling but i've been trying my best to grow my youtube channel for a while now i know that i've been going on and off on and off but i refuse to give up and because i refuse to give up i haven't failed yet not just for youtube other things as well so the person that fails is the person that gives up make sure you're not giving up and treat every failure like an experience that has been added to you 
and will help you succeed next time that you try because with the experiences that you have you know what works and what doesn't work you know what roads to avoid and that actually empowers you more than the next person that doesn't have that experience so just do not see your experience like oh my gosh i'm tired i'm not gonna try again no there are so many stories of people that have succeeded from learning from their failures and not from giving up after they fail from learning from their failures so always remember that and impact it in whatever thing it is that you're trying to do when you forgive people you actually set yourself free personally i do not like holding grudges honestly like rather just forgive you and move on and if you notice or if you do not know your heart actually feels lighter when you are forgiving someone so you might think oh, i'm definitely holding this grudge against this person but you're doing yourself more harm than good because you're giving that person the opportunity to live rent free in your head the person is occupying space in your mind without even paying rent for it so let that person go evict them today and gain your life back gain your freedom back and your heart wouldn't be as heavy you feel lighter you'll probably even feel happier when you let people go i've never really been a son now yeah, but when i do i try like i actually sometimes even pray to god to give me the opportunity to let go of that grudge you are enough in a world that makes us feel like we're not enough we always have to prove that we have value we always have to show what we bring to the table uh, you know what i if you know you have to always remind yourself that you are inherently good enough that you have values to bring to the table just as you are for me i like i've said this before on my channel i like the video here but i always say that always appreciate what you bring to the table or appreciate the value that you are is by expressing your creativity because not people can be identically creative if you give two people an idea they are probably going to execute it differently if they work independently but they will still achieve that so appreciate your creativity appreciate your individuality and understand that you are enough don't give anyone the power to make you feel like you're not enough you always have to prove yourself all the time don't give anyone that power always empower yourself no two people have the same destinies no two people have the same on um, purposes actually maybe they do but you need to read more reading actually opens up your mind it opens up your mind to what people have done in the past different places it just gives you an idea of the different opportunities the different life experiences that people have had in the past and that you never ever had experience if you hadn't read i used to always want to read but i was struggling a lot with this until i actually took the leap of faith and said that okay if i can't read physical books i might as well listen to the nuggets that are being shared in those books and that's why it says get an audible subscription I always talk about it audible is not so is, this is not a paid ad but it's an app that i really like and i would like i would literally share with anyone like if you have the opportunity get an audible subscription and thank me later but reading will open up your mind reading will let you know the different things that you're missing out on people's ideas the way people think the way people have gone about this life that you don't even know about and honestly i, I cannot overstress this finally you are not alone even if you feel like you are alone always remember to leverage on your support system remember earlier i said that people are a gift so always always leverage on your support system don't ever feel like you have to do things on your own all the time because that can be overwhelming so whenever things are getting hectic and stuff like that leverage on your support system embrace that ask for help and you'll be so surprised how far you can go when you're going with other people as opposed to when you are walking alone that's it for this video it's quite a unique one if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel my name is chedera if you are new here and i'll link this video here for you and check it out i'll wait i know you will like it just check it out why are you still here like get out <laughs> check it out anyway bye guys